So, uh, I've uh, missed a couple of things in uh, my like week or two absence. I feel like we're necessary to talk about. It's one of these it's one of these times where like it's like there's one week where nothing happens, but then the next week everything happens. Well, not really everything happens, but you know, still some stuff that I felt like was necessary to talk about on here. So, we're going to dive into it starting with the Mario movie being delayed to t- 2023. Now, in my opinion, I don't know what caused this move to happen because the Mario movie wasn't didn't need to be delayed, but if it's going to make the movie even better, then I'm all for it. So, originally they were going to release it in December 21st of 2022 and now they're going to release it on April 7th next year in North America and in Japan in the 28th. I feel weird about this decision, but I'm just going to let it slide and hope that the the good stuff comes out from this movie because let's not forget, we heard a while back that the characters will be talking a lot in this film. And remember, Chris Pratt is Mario. So things are not going to look too good in my opinion, but we'll just have to wait and see. Just a small thing to share, Kirby related. This artwork for the 30th anniversary, it looks fantastic. And I thought, why not? Let's just put it on here. Because I feel like this is just a good representation of the milestone. Now, I'm not that big of a Kirby guy, but I played the demo for Kirby in the Forgotten Land and I had a lot of fun with it. So, maybe... I'll be able to play the full game one day. You never know. Speaking of playing the full game, what comes out today? Nintendo Switch Sports. And uh, I just thought to mention the uh, the reviews also came out, and I don't know how I feel about them because there is a lot of seven out of tens. And in my opinion, this isn't the kind of game that deserves a seven out of ten. I would put it in the six, maybe a five point five if I'm being a bit too critical. But you know. I don't think that Nintendo Switch Sports, from what I've seen so far, like I've seen the trailers and the gameplay, and it looks fun, don't get me wrong, it looks a lot of fun, but I don't think it encapsulates the magic that Wii Sports had, you know? But you never know, that's probably just my nostalgic talking, because I because I like Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, I'm, I was, I'm more of a Wii Sports Resort guy, but you know, can't deny that Wii Sports, in my opinion, is the most influential video game in history. But yeah, I can't wait to try Nintendo Switch Sports. It's probably going to be a ton of fun. Looks like Sonic is not going to move that much faster on all these platforms. So the classic games are going to be delisted from all other platforms. So if you want to own Sonic 1, 2, and CD in anything other than the ver- versions in Sonic Origins, or the Sega Ages Nintendo Switch versions, then do so on on this time frame until May 20th. So if you want to get Sonic 1, 2, and CD on any of those platforms before May 20th, then now is the time to do it. I already pre-ordered Sonic Origins. You guys know that I'm very positive about the game. And, uh, yeah. I can't wait to try it. I might even live stream it. If I am in the mood to live stream again. And if you guys want to see it too, I'd be more than willing to live stream Sonic Origins. Just because E3 got cancelled this year, it doesn't mean most of com- most of the companies are putting a stop to their showcases. Oh no. Just like last year, Xbox and Bethesda are back at it again on Sunday, June 12th. And it says that they're going to show ex- very exciting games. Now, take that with a grain of salt, my dear viewer, because I don't know what they mean by that. I'm just the the kind of guy that hasn't gotten into a lot of other types of series, but maybe I should get into that more. And that's just this quick news roundup. I just thought that I might as well come on here and show, like, my opinions on most of the stuff I mentioned in this video. So, yeah. That being said, go on gaming. I'm sorry about that.